If I had a nickel for every time I was confronted by a ghost with a large chest, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir de Vide, and today I want to play a game called Boyfriend Exorcist. I've never really known what to do with my life. A meeting with the school's guidance counselor doesn't do much when all you want is to live comfortably and not die from overwork. I fully understand. I figured it couldn't do any harm to enter the big world of work. Boy, was I wrong. Customer service is an absolute heck hole. I quit after a month. Good on ya. That left me with no choice but to go with the least competitive work I could think of. That's how I ended up here, on a stormy night, competing with other exorcists for the chance to earn just above minimum wage, and all I have to do is risk my life by taking on ghosts. That, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be, <laughs> it's too hard. Thanks, capitalism. <laughs> it's not like I mind, though. Anything's better than that hexscape restaurant. I swear, my hands are still burning from hot plates, and even the forces of heck wouldn't treat me as badly as customers. Hmm. A restaurant in heck. I wonder if anybody's done that before. Not that I've actually seen a ghost before. Hmm. It's been a while since the old lady who hired me left to get refreshments. I think her name was Ethel. Oh, sounds like someone's coming. Maybe I should try and network. Hello, my friends. My new friends. Hopefully I won't get you killed. Oh, great. An exorcist. Never mind. Do you have to be rude, Aaron? Do you have to be here, Sonny? I'm Sonny. It's nice to meet you. You are? Oh, neat. That's neat. I'm a sister exorcist. I'm a spa. My employers call me a sister exorcist. I want to be a sister exorcist. Actually, no, I would not want to be an exorcist. I would just end up befriending the ghost, and then have a whole new set of problems. Great to meet you, Espoir. I'm a ghost hunter myself, unfortunately. Yes, lovely. Hey, I'm glad to have someone else here. Ethel said she was able to speak to the spirit once. Apparently his name is Lucas, and he was an actor. An actor who was never able to make a big break. This screams vengeful spirit. Mm -mm. It screams stories someone made up to explain a bump in the night. I'm hoping you don't believe in ghosts, do you, Espoir? Or are you doing this for the money? Don't make me choose because I do believe in ghosts and I am doing this for the money. Yeah, it's for the money. And the ghosts. <laughs> then you're in the wrong job. You'll find little of the former and none of the latter, given they don't exist. How do you explain all the footage and photos I've found over the years, then? Oh no, you've got me there. All my reasoning is crumbling before my eyes. Smudges on the camera lens, shadows, refraction. I mean, he's, he's right. Odd camera angles, the evolutionary inclination of the human mind to spot faces where there are none as a form of survival. Again, he's right. He's right. Our ancestors were safer running from a bush they mistook for a bear than mistaking a bear for a bush. That wobbly shape in the corner of your 420p video is not proof of ghosts, obviously. They don't exist. Well, isn't there going to be egg on your face when I smooch a ghost? Somehow. Tell that to the demon who turned the flashlight on when I asked if he wanted to kill me. Ah! Hunky ghost! You know, oh, oh, oh. the girl the exorcists, exorcists, exorcists are the most, the most fun, fun to scare. Most I find I you find scream the loudest. How dare you? Did you two see that? Um, see what? There, in the mirror, a figure, all creepy looking. Where? I still can't wrap my head around the so-called most successful ghost hunter being terrified of the very thing he hunts. Oh no, 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 please no. Hey, come on, Sonny. We're all going to be okay. She probably just saw a shadow. It wasn't a shadow. It was a hunky man. It wasn't a shadow. I saw someone. Hmm, there he is again. He's really hot! My goodness, my goodness, sir. Your pectorals, mmm. 
Oh, and on second thought, can you guys, like, leave the room or something? <clears throat> I have I have to have a word with this mirror. Heard, Heard me, me too. too. Ah, that's disconcerting. The others don't seem to notice him at all. Cut it out, Espoir. You're going to give him a heart attack. As annoying as I find him, I don't want him dead. But I did see something, I promise. <laughs> don't you dare jump scare me, sir. What was that? What? What? Oh, wait. Ooh. What the heck happened? You don't need to hide behind me, you know. Right. Sorry. You don't have to say sorry. What was even that? This place is the worst. I can't stand it. It's almost as bad as the mines I investigated last Tuesday or the abandoned amusement park I did on Wednesday. Oh, Sonny, I think I think you need to find a new line of business then. Maybe photograph birds or something. Or the haunted playground on Thursday. How did you know about that? I was, uh, being sarcastic. But you raise a good question. What caused the bookcase to fall? It was a ghost! <laughs> now, I think we should investigate it. That's actually very reasonable. Thank you. I'll be mean to you later. I wasn't trying to compliment you or anything. I was just being honest, that's all. Oh, you're blushing. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, are you blushing? No, leave me alone, God's sake. Hey. In my, In my ghostly, ghostly opinion, opinion, he is he blushing. Is That's disconcerting. The others still don't seem to notice him at all. Cut that out. Wait, but a whole bookcase collapsed. Surely that's proof of a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. A demon, then. A rose by any name haunts just as creepily. Not if the rose doesn't exist. Is there nothing in your skull? You know you're a bit of a jerk, Aaron. Yes, but at least I'm a correct jerk. Like Espoir here. I'm in favor of investigating before drawing conclusions. Observe. Aaron lifts up a panel on the back of the bookcase, revealing some sort of spring. Hmm. I noticed this while I was poking around earlier, checking for bugs in the lamp or spy cameras. This crafty mechanism is designed to drop the bookcase after a certain period of time has elapsed. Really? What was that about ghosts again? Hmm. He's got, He's me, got there. me there. The bookcase, the bookcase wasn't, wasn't my work. My work. <gasps> a double ghost! But, but, but what is this? Is this all a setup? It would appear so. Ethel! Ethel, you got some splainin' to do! If the paycheck was also a setup, that old hag will have more to worry about than a creepy ghost guy. I want my money, Ethel! You gotta hand it to the old bat. That was pretty convincing. I was about to say ghost! If you only have two brain cells, maybe. Hey! Why would she fake a collapsing bookcase? And why would she... What is that? Why would she destroy a couch over it, too? Now, now you gotta pick up all the books? And the bookshelf is all wrecked? And then now you gotta fix all that? Ethel? And also, where is she? Ethel was the ghost! She's been taking an awfully long while to get those refreshments. We should check on her. See if she needs any help. Ethel, you, you, you need help pouring that orange juice? The ghost hunters search this floor in the kitchen for their boss. No sign of her. Ethel! It's like she's vanished. Or hiding. Hmm. Maybe she's the ghost! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sonny. You, you really think she was a ghost, Espoir? Not really. I was just making a guess. And I was being silly. A bad guess. Thank goodness. I really don't like running into ghosts. It's scary. And yet you chose to be a ghost hunter. I didn't exactly choose. What do you mean? Ghosts just seem to appear around me, whether I want them or not. It kept happening when I was working as a night security guard. 
So people started to reach out to me with their haunting problems, and I couldn't just say no. You definitely could have. And leave them all to suffer alone? No, I had to help. You loved being the night security guard, right? At that, that pizza place, what was it called? <laughs> yeah, the peaceful shifts, the calmness of night, reading a book or two, it was lovely. And you hate being a ghost hunter, right? Hmm, maybe. Then screw everyone else. Do what makes you happy. Go be a night security guard and forget all this garbage. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Aaron's right. You should do what you enjoy. Gosh darn it. Hmm, maybe. All of this is besides the point. We don't need to find Ethel because I found something better. Her notes. Her handwriting would make even a doctor proud with how illegible it is, but I can make out a few lines. The collapsing bookcase was indeed a trick from her, but not to make fools of us. To test us. Hmm. Test us? That seems needlessly cruel, but then again, yeah, there are plenty of frauds out there, but that does seem needlessly cruel. You didn't need to go that far, Ethel. Not necessarily. Think of how many phonies are out there. Ethel wanted to make sure we're not going to find ghosts where there are none. She also wrote that there were two more epicenters for the haunting. One up in the attic, the other down in the basement. Can we please go to the attic? Basements are horrifying. Nothing nice has ever happened in a basement. That's exactly why I'm going to the basement. The water heater, dryer, and furnace are all down there, as well as vents and pipes. If there's a carbon monoxide leak causing these so-called hauntings, its source is likely to be down there. That's a good idea. Look at the big brains on Aaron. I, are we splitting up? If you're set on going to the attic, then yes, I'm going to the basement. Whether or not I have company is inconsequential. In all honesty, I best work alone. I tend to annoy people. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Nah, he's, he's all right. He's, he's, he's got a big brain. You, you haven't annoyed me. It's fine. That's kind of you to say. Not that I need your approval or anything, but... Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Aaron stunned before. Impressive work, Espoir. I'm not flustered. I'm just... pensive. If you say so. Whatever. I suppose some company couldn't hurt. I want to see this basement. I want to see this carbon monoxide thing. It would make checking for carbon monoxide quicker if either of you wanted to tag along. To the basement? In the spirit of doing what I want, I'll leave that terrifying prospect to you. The attic sounds much more friendly. Understandable. Espoir? Uh... As much as I want to keep Sunny company, I want to go see the spooky basement. <laughs> Let's go then. No time to waste. See you back here once we're finished investigating. Yeah, Sunny? See you then. Oh my. Aaron pulls something out of his briefcase. Uh, what's that? Dish soap. Right. Why do you have dish soap? Wouldn't you like to know? I would like to know. That's why I asked. Dish soap mixed with a bit of water can help detect gas leaks. Observe. I brush the mixture over the different appliances, and if I see any bubbles foaming, it means gas is escaping. Oh. It's rudimentary, I'll give you that, but it gets the job done. If I find nothing, then I'll get out my more high-tech gear to be certain. Hmm. No leaks that I can see so far. Let's try this instead. Aaron pulls out a handheld machine. Nothing on the carbon monoxide detector, either. We may be able to rule out this option. I have to ask, how are you ignoring the obvious? You mean the literal writing on the walls? What's that? Uh, the marks and blood on the wall, or the- THE MARKS AND THE BLOOD ON THE WALL! Sir? <laughs> no need to shout. In all honesty, I was so focused on checking for carbon monoxide, I might have missed that. How do you miss that? <laughs> How the heck could you have missed that? That's 
pretty obvious I say it all caps. I said there's no need to shout. When I've got a job to do, I can get a bit tunnel visioned. Alright, that's understandable. These markings are interesting, but made with blood? These look more like scratches to me. They all seem to be pointing towards this section of the wall. Uh, I'll let Aaron investigate, since this is just a demo. Interesting. What? Upstairs, in the main foyer. When I was looking around, I found bugs. Someone was listening to us? Not just listening, watching too. I found hidden cameras, and now, look at this. This isn't just a handprint, it's a trap. There's some sort of mechanism behind it. I can't tell what it would do, but something about this place isn't right. <gasps> In short, I don't think Ethel ever thought there was a ghost here. I think this is some kind of prank. Or worse, we're the targets of someone's sick game. <gasps> Whatever this trap is, it looks... lethal. Um... Yeah, we need to get out of here. We need to- we need to skedaddle, friend. Before we get caught up in some shenanigans and end up as ghosts. I couldn't agree more. Let's go. Quickly! Before Ethel comes back! Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, hello! My goodness. If I had a nickel for every time I was confronted by a ghost with a large chest, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? <laughs> <sighs> Certainly the most the lively most group we've had, had so far. So that girl, girl Espoir. There's something, There's something about, about her that's, that's so, so special. special. Oh, 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 sounds like sounds they're like trying to leave. Hmm. I don't, I don't think, think I can I tolerate, can tolerate that, Espoir. Oh no! Why am I playing this at night? Play, play the ghost exorcist game at night, she says. Play it at night and nothing spooky will happen, surely. I won't be seeing that face in, in the shadows. Phew. Thank you for playtesting Boyfriend Exorcist. If you enjoyed this demo, please support us by wishlisting. This game is available on Steam, and there will be a link in the description, and I don't know why I'm pointing, I just like doing it. What if I say, it's for the money, not a belief in ghosts. Mm -mm. Oh, uh, but it does also help bring peace to the people being haunted. Surely that matters more than your own benefits. Wait, that came out wrong. I didn't mean to insult you. Oh dear. On that we can at least agree, Sonny. I test for carbon monoxide and faulty flooring, not to end hauntings, but to bring people a sense of safety. You're like a house inspector. I didn't realize you actually cared. Mm -mm. I misspoke. I do it to prove I'm right about ghosts not existing. Nothing else. Hi. Hi. Eep. Okay, okay, okay. What if I say, uh, it's for the ghosts, especially the cute ones. Maybe I will get have his hand in marriage. That was... not what I was expecting to hear. You know what? I have to respect the honesty. Yeah, I respect everyone's, um, preferences, I guess. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Lucas. <laughs> uh, what if, what if I say, it's just a faulty bookcase, it's fine. Wait, what? You can literally see and hear me, but you think it's a faulty bookcase? <laughs> Are you offended, sir? Don't you believe in ghosts like me? Not to be too presumptive, but this does look like the work of a ghost. I've had many experiences with them, unfortunately. I don't believe in ghosts, actually. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, thank God. Someone else rational. I said, I said you can, you can quite, quite literally, literally both, both see, see and, and hear me. You mad, Lucas? You mad? Why you mad? Rational? Ghosts aren't real. Did you miss the bookcase falling? Yes, the loud crash slipped my attention. Mm hmm. I don't like it when you're sarcastic. Tragic. Listen. A human is a construct of physical matter. When that physical matter stops working, the human is gone. 
It wouldn't make any sense for that person to be become a spiritual entity and haunt the rest of us. I mean, he's got a point, but I personally still believe in ghosts. To, a, to an extent. Some people believe humans have souls which aren't physical. Some people are wrong. But what about the bookcase? Observe. It had a doohickey. What if I scare poor Sonny and say, Could the ghost have gotten Miss Ethel? <gasps> you really think the ghost got her, Espoir? Absolutely. Eep! <laughs> For God's sake, Espoir, stop scaring him. Oh, all right. Ethel wasn't taken by a ghost. Sonny, it's all right. You really think so? Yes. Let's see if there's anything in the attic. Fair enough. We'll meet back here when we're done investigating. Thanks for coming with Espoir. I feel a little better knowing I won't be on my own. Ooh, I don't like that shadow standing right there. That shadow needs to get out of my hair. There's a bunch of mirrors in here. The basement is suddenly looking a lot more inviting. This is horrifying, though. In my experience, however bad the attic is, the basement is far worse. I hope Aaron's getting on okay. I'm sure his annoying highness is doing fine. I meant what I said. He can be blunt, but he's a good guy, really. Yeah, I guess I just need to get to know him some more. I'm glad you agree. He's the closest thing I have to a best friend. In all honesty, we grew up together. You see, I was always the quiet one, but nothing ever scared Aaron. Just being around him made me feel safer. Wish he'd come up here with us. I'll keep us safe. Don't worry. If there's any ghosts up here, I will flirt with them aggressively. You promise? Promise. Thank you. I do feel a bit better just hearing you say that. Hey, maybe if this goes well, we can become a permanent ghost hunting team. I'd love to not have to do this alone anymore. That sounds nice, actually. That's amazing. No more ghost hunting alone. I could cry. How much- how much are we making? Because I am in this for the money. I can't go back to retail or restaurants. You are crying. I suppose I am. <laughs> what? To investigate? Ah! You son of a biscuit! How dare you! Ah! I will choke slam you! I will tombstone you! I will I will do like this! And then put my elbow on this side of your face! Ah! Ah! That was both me and Sonny screaming, just ah! ah! You can see him too? How could I not? He's coming right for us! Run! Run! Lucas, yeah, yeah, dude, what, what's wrong with you? I didn't press anything. Your turn with the ropes. Your turn with the handprint. Ropes? Handprint? What do you mean? I'll show, show, you. show, 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 show. No, Espoir! Get away from her! <laughs> no. Oh no. no. Espoir, not, not you. you. Why did Why it have to be you? you? The first person first who's ever been able to see me. And I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have what I have done? done? I never, I never wanted, wanted this. this. It's okay. it's okay. I can I fix can this. this. Fix you. Fix I, remember I remember what they did, what they did to, me, to me. To make me like this. I can help you. Neither of us need to be alone any longer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! It's a ghost! Oh, for God's sake. I'm surrounded by ghost believers. Shouldn't you reprimand him for taking the Lord's name in vain? <laughs> Still no reaction from the others, but how come I'm the only one who can see him? You think it's a ghost, Espoir? Exactly my thoughts. Though, you're meant to be an exorcist, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes! <laughs> aren't you meant to believe in demons, then? Not ghosts? We, we may have both on our hands. Yeah, exorcists deal with demons, not ghosts. I'm not- 
I'm not like other exorcists. You wouldn't understand. Right. Moving on. <laughs> that the best That's you could come, come up with, with Miss exorcist. exorcist? Hey, you shut up. I'll punch you in your ghost tummy. Quit belittling me from that mirror. Then it must be a ghost. I've never heard of one this, this talkative, though. Yeah. What's up with that, Lucas? Hmm. I didn't ask Sonny if there's a way he could do both. I tried. I feel so overworked, I fell asleep during my night shifts. That's how I lost my job. My offer's still on the table, Sonny. And I still don't want you to threaten my old boss, as much as he deserves it. But I appreciate the thought. All of this is besides the point. We don't need to find Ethel, because I found something better. Her notes. Yep, running. <laughs> you race back to the lounge with Sonny. You have no idea whether Lucas is following you. Mm. Hey, you nearly bowled me over. What are you running from? A sexy, sexy ghost! Like, like, really hot. Like, unbelievably hot. There was a ghost. He was acting strange. I think he would have killed me if I hadn't run. A ghost? A ghost? Screw the job. We need to get out of here. Front door's locked, isn't it? Isn't it? Ethel! This isn't funny anymore, Ethel! The door's locked! The windows, too! Oh, goodness! No need to throw furniture! I'm trying to break the windows. They must be reinforced to survive that. Hmm. Uh. Ah! We're trapped! Oh no! Well, if you would like to know what happens in the next thing, wishless boyfriend exorcist on the steam. Because gosh darn it, Lucas, I'm going to get you for that jump scare. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Well, that was boyfriend exorcist, and I am very intrigued. Oh boy, this must be the fastest I've been hooked on a story. I want to know what's going on here. But this was just the demo, so you can wishlist this game on Steam to be notified of when it comes out. And anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.